Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in my Halloween series. Today I'm going to teach you how to make latex wounds ahead of time. You're going to need liquid latex, uh, a couple of sponges, don't use a brush it'll get ruined, a little container for the liquid latex, some cotton balls, you won't need this many, one or two will be fine, and the back of some brushes that you don't mind getting latex on and I've just wrapped a piece of cardboard in cling wrap, this is what I prefer to do, and I'm also going to be using translucent powder and a big powder brush. First what you want to do is place the liquid latex in a container, you can use something a bit smaller than this, I couldn't find my smaller ones. Then you want to take your sponge and the liquid latex and create your base shape. You need to apply latex underneath all the cotton because this is what's going to be sticking on the skin. You need a couple layers of this, let it dry between layers, do about three so you want it to be super sturdy. Then unravel your cotton balls and tear apart what you would like to use for the wound. Now for this particular wound I'm actually creating a bite wound. This is going to be a bite from a vampire so keep that in mind if you're doing a bite from a werewolf it's going to look different from a vampire. So I'm just kind of creating the gums here, creating a base shape and then I'm using my fingertip to apply latex on top of the cotton. Using a sponge on top of cotton is a nightmare so I really do suggest using liquid latex. It's absolutely fine, uh, it just peels off so you don't have to worry about that. I'm then layering a little bit more cotton to really build up that uh, gum line and then I'm using a little bit of liquid latex on the back of a brush and I'm applying some texture within the gum line. This is going to be the teeth texture. And then I'm just smoothing out the edges to really create a cohesive effect, make sure they're really nice and smooth. Now I'm actually going to create a second wound. So again, I'm starting with my bay shape and this wound is going to be more of a slice kind of wound. So again, I'm unraveling my cotton ball, piecing off what I need and just applying it down onto liquid latex. Now you can create whatever wound, whatever effect, that you are after. You can use tissue paper, you can use tissue, uh, you can use toilet paper. I do suggest to use something that doesn't really have much um, pattern or texture to it because that'll give the best effect. So again I'm just smoothing down the two sides of the wound with liquid latex. Go nice and slowly with this. You need to wait for it to dry anyway. I prefer to let mine dry overnight like I've done here. And then I'm going to remove them from the cling wrap. Now the cling wrap keeps them really nice and flexible to use. So I'm taking my powder brush and some translucent powder and really powdering over the wounds. The reason you need to do this step is so that they don't fold in on themselves as you take them off. You need those edges to be as flat as possible and if you don't powder they're going to buckle and they're going to fold in. It's going to be so frustrating for you to apply them. So really powder it down and this will also take away that tackiness of the liquid latex then slowly start to peel it away from the cling wrap. I use cling wrap again because it's just so simple to pull it off. Then just powder the backing of it again so the edges aren't going to buckle in on themselves and again slowly peel it away. Now this one was actually a lot easier. <laughs> again making sure that you're powdering the back of it to really get off that wound. Now these wounds can actually be reused as long as you're taking them off with something that isn't going to break down the liquid latex. So if you're just kind of peeling them off your skin or using a spirit gum remover, you're going to be fine. Now these are the edges you want, really thin edges that are going to apply to the skin really well. This edge here is a little folded over so it's going to be a little tough. But when you do apply them, just sponge some liquid latex around the edges, that way they'll smooth really nicely into the skin. Now I'm just going to go in with a sealer. You don't necessarily need this step, but I prefer to do it as it becomes a lot easier to apply makeup over the top of a sealed prosthetic. The sealer is just going to kind of give it a little bit more texture and make it look a little less plasticky, a little, a little less latex-like. So I'm just brushing that over. Um, again, you don't necessarily need this step. Grease paints will go over these quite fine, but I'll be using alcohol paints, so I kind of want to avoid that. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it if you did, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!